Here at the Phoenix Herpetological Sanctuary, we provide a service where we relocate rattlesnakes. We've gotten some very interesting calls in the past, and today was no different. Here we have a western diamondback rattlesnake who has fallen victim to a rat trap. Andrew is on the scene to relocate the snake. All right, we just got our rattlesnake back from our person that called us to go capture this guy. And uh, we're gonna be taking him back to PHS to hopefully get this rat trapped off of him. Holy crap. Um, that's gonna be really interesting getting that thing off. I've never seen one in a trap quite like that before. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to get him in the venom room and try to open the trap carefully and get his head out. Okay, everybody ready? All right, here we go. Oh, poor snakey. Okay, yeah, so if you can keep it stable. Oh, I'm making it worse there. Okay. All right, so I think I need you to hold it right here like this. Put your tongues down right there. See how that way I can push pressure on it right there, just like that. And now, okay, hold it. Okay, she's gonna come out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, she's got damage on her. Okay, hold her for a second. Oh yeah, see that. She's clearly hurt. We're gonna have to keep her, I think, for a little bit. Do you see that big yeah, bump, on, big her bump neck? on her neck? Yeah, that could be broken bones or who knows what. How does this thing work? Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> so, uh, when Andrew went on the snake call to get the snake that was in the rat trap, we were able to get it off. We've kept the snake for a few days to make sure uh, it looks okay and uh, we're going to be able to release into the wild. Uh, we were thinking about naming him Trapper since he's caught in a rat trap. But uh, I thought this was in the range of our research study, so we are going to pit tag the snake. So I'm going to take the snake out right now. We're going to tube it. We're going to do all the measurements, research stuff pit tag it, and then go release it into the research area, which is really close to where we did the snake haul. This snake is now gonna become part of research to see if they come back into the neighborhoods. And then here is what we insert the pit tag with. So that needle has a pit tag, which is about the size of a grain of rice. It won't hurt the snake. It's, a, it's called a pit tag, which stands for passive integrated transponder. So I can use this reader to scan it and I uh, get a unique number. So if I find her again, I'll know exactly who she is. So a longer tail is a male, shorter tail is a female, and then probing is the best way to tell for, to know for sure. So male reproductive organs are in the tail. So if this slides into the tail, it's a male and it is not. So this is a female. So we got a girl, and now we're going to paint the rattles. So I am going to inject paint inside the rattle segment. And I do it on the inside because it won't rub off that way as easily. So we're tracking to see if the snake comes back into their yard. And that's our marker. Okay. I don't know, Trapper just doesn't sound right to me now. Oh, I know, we should call her Trappy. Yeah, I like it, Trappy. Yeah, so she's got uh, broken scales on the bottom too. So it did injure her, but I don't think it's gonna be really bad. I think the best bet is actually gonna be to get the snake back out in the wild where she can take care of herself. Okay, sweetheart, we're gonna get to go back to the wild now. For more information on our rattlesnake rescue and removal services, check out our website at phoenixherp.com. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more content like this, consider subscribing to stay tuned for our videos every week.